Python, you started learning it, excited to create your own games, websites, and products, only to be disappointed by basic hello world and calculate the programs taught in an introductory course you take. Although these basic programs are useful to learn the fundamentals, they are like training wheels on a bike. Python is far more capable than that and has been used for scientific computing, creating games, and powering your favorite apps. So in this video, we'll take a look at all the different things Python can do that are actually useful. First up, every business needs a website, whether it is to provide a service or to spread the word. Having an online presence allows you to reach anyone and to make yourself stand out. The most popular web frameworks for Python are the Django and Flask. Think of the Django as an all-inclusive result. It provides everything you need, whether that is template layouts, form validation, file uploads, or sending emails. Flask, on the other hand, is a much smaller web framework for small applications. It provides you only with exactly what you need to get started with, so you need to install additional libraries for features like form validation and sending emails separately. But what if you don't want to build websites and instead want to collect data from your favorite sites? For that, there are libraries such as Beautiful Soup that can script the web so that you can automate the process of retrieving data from other sites. If instead you want to create bots to interact with websites automatically, such as to place orders, Python also has libraries like Selenium that can do just that. Once you've collected some data, Python can also help you to make use of it. There's the Pandas library for manipulating and cleaning data, and libraries like Matplotlib and Seaborn to turn that boring data into something presentable. But what's even more interesting is that you can use that data to train machine learning models using libraries like Scikit-learn to make predictions. Or if you want to perform more complex tasks like identifying objects in a video, translating text, or even a system that recommends videos, then you'll probably be looking more towards deep learning with libraries such as TensorFlow. Since there are so many libraries that have different tasks, you can pretty much automate anything that follows a predictable pattern. Let's say that you wanted to write a program to automatically tax your updates whenever a product drops below a certain price. Well, you can do that. Or if you wanted to build a system that automatically turns on the lights whenever you enter the room. Well, you can do that too. So whatever your idea is, if you want to build something quick, you can probably do it with Python, which is what makes it so popular for beginners. Once you have developed a program, you can make it user-friendly using a GUI framework such as PyQt or TikiInter, which makes it possible to create applications with elements like buttons, checkboxes, and menus for your user to easily interact with a program. If building utility applications doesn't quite interest you, you can also develop games with Python. Although it is not recommended because Python is much slower and won't be optimal for large 3D games, you can still use Pygame if you want to develop simple 2D games, especially since it is much easier to get started with when compared to game engines such as Unity and Unreal Engine. There have been many games published on Steam that were developed with Pygame, so it's definitely possible. Now that you've seen a quick overview of what you can do with Python, if you're interested, here are a few ways to get started. There are online courses and YouTube videos that will take you from a beginner to an advanced level. Or if you prefer, there are also some great books that will walk you through the intricacies of the language or how to use a specific library. I'll leave some of my recommendations in the description below, and you can also find some Python tutorials here on my channel. That's all for this video, consider subscribing if it has helped you out, and see you on the next one.